Hey everybody, welcome back. We have some more uh, BLR. I believe that's what this is called. If I'm if I'm right, if I'm right, it's that. Last time we uh, reached an ending. We reached K's ending, in which I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I don't understand what's going on anymore. <laughs> Every time you get closer to get a grasp, it just rips away. Today, though, we are going to see what happens when we go into the chromatic doors and not choose blue. So, we can't go to the red with clover. We're not going with K. So we're instead going to go to the green door with Luna. Alice, Luna, green door. Right. I'm coming. They both took off for the door and I followed behind at a run. I glanced back over my shoulders in time to see the others head into the respective doors. Phi, Dio, and K ducked into the red door, just as Ten Miyoji carried Cork through the blue door, Clover right at his heels. Two, one, zero. We did it. Chromatic doors closing. Yeah, close those doors. <laughs> so we go to the Every treatment center, to right? Unlocked. That's unfortunate. Or actually, if we go by this, it should open the one on the right. It looks like the device next to the number nine door. Why don't you try pulling the lever? Huh? Look at the door on the right. Huh. That doesn't make sense. Why would just the door on the right open? How do you open the other two? You're probably just overthinking it. That door opened. That means we're going through it. Bring it on. Don't go soft on me now. I'll leave you behind. Come on, okay. Sam, let's go. Fine. Well. Here it is. Here's our our lovely, lovely place. The golem. It is kind of confusing, isn't it? What is it for? Well, I think it looks like some sort of workroom. If you say so, we should split up and search it. We need to find um key cards with moon symbols on them, right? Yes. Yeah. They should be somewhere in this room. All right, let's do it. All righty. Well, here we go. What we got here? We got a robot. A robot that wasn't here uh, at the end of K's ending. The heck is this guy? Maybe it's an Egyptian mummy. What? Anyway, you look at it as a robot. Also, very appropriate you said that. Maybe it's a robot. Uh, there's no maybe about it. I can't imagine it's anything else but a fucking robot. You're kidding, right? It's insane. Well, what do you think it is? Just a well-made mannequin. A robot-y thing. I don't think it's just crash test, test dummy or anything like that. Wait, hold on. There's something above it. Chevron block. Hmm. Oil? Yes, it's secreting oil, then. What is this? Looks like kind of a hexagon. If you flip one of the corners in. I mean, technically, it's still a hexagon, but... Hmm. It's got an antenna. Do you think it could be a radio? Why don't you try turning it on? 
I tried that, nothing happens. Maybe the batteries are dead. Hmm. What is it? I don't think it runs on batteries. There's an electrical socket on the other side. So you're saying it needs a power cable. Huh, you're right. Yep. Needs, uh, needs power. What's this thing? Shaped like a star. Hmm, maybe you need to put something into it. Something that's shaped like a star, I'm assuming. Okay, then we need to get more pieces and then probably fuse them. If I had my best guess here. Use the radio on this cord. Where's the computer? Imagine it's built into the monitor. Hmm, it's kind of hard to see, but there's a single cable. Is it a power cable? Maybe we can connect it. Hurry up and plug it in. Perfect. I guess it's nice we plugged it in, but what do we do now? Why don't you try tuning it? You need to adjust it so it's picking up a specific frequency. Uh, maybe we'll hear something. Oh, is it like a code? Nah, that wouldn't make sense. Three, three, one, two. Three, three, one, three. Three, three, one, one. All right, f fucking good. I'll fucking take it. About time I got one of those brute force. Actually, hold on. What even is this place? I need to pull up a guide anyway because I don't want to spend an hour in here. <laughs> Look, the monitor. Reacted. Some kind of voice recognition system. There's something on the screen. This is blueprint. Alright, then let's go into the archive. Rough sketch of the room. Alright. We got a rough sketch. And. Ba -ba 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 -ba. There we go, let's screenshot that shit. Alright, if we look at the layout of the room, there's an on off somewhere, and then a V. We'll figure it out after we're done scavenging. What is this? A poster. It's a little unsettling. Maybe it's a clue, yeah. Let's take it. And in that case, let me, uh, let me grab it. Alright, got it. Uh-huh, another piece. There, we just need one more. Hmm. Seems that there's one thing that looks like it can be grabbable. I guess not. We have lockers. White jacket. A name tag? Alright. Said I think that said Harold. Here we go. Said you had a medical license, right? Yeah, I do. Hmm. Ah, a binder. Frequency list. Oh, that should. I guess that was the hint of what we had to do, but I brute forced it. Alright, next thing on the list. Let's, uh, let's put our chevrons together here. That's odd. Why won't it fit? A star-shaped block? Yeah. It's the same shape. Maybe it's not the right size. I guess so. It's the block's too big. Well, that sucks. Here, I thought I had it all figured out. 
What do we got here? A button. Most of the buttons are boring or just incomprehensible, but this one speaks to me. What does it say? Come on, a big red button on a play with a black and yellow stripes? It couldn't scream, don't press me any louder if it said, don't press me on it. Is it a self-destruct button? Maybe the moment you press it, we'll hear a soft hiss, and then the room will start to fill up with poisonous gas. What if it launches a missile? I don't know, that seems a little... Hey, hey, what are you doing? It's okay. There's no way anything really dangerous to just be out of there. Pretty sure Zero Senior wants us to play through this whole game. True. Oh, yeah. Why'd you... Hey! Calm down, nothing happened. Nothing to get mad about. You hear that noise, though. Like something is trying to start up. There it is again. What is that? I wonder what's making it. Hmm. Well, we do have this right here. Battery A. Toolbox. It's got a key in it. That's odd. This key obviously goes to this keyhole, but won't turn. Can you get it out? No good. Okay. Um, we have a key. We have a key. We have a battery. No, I wasn't trying to hit the door, honest. Big red X on it. Exactly. Don't you think the spot where the X was indicating was right around here? What, you've forgotten? Come on, at least try to remember. Uh, okay. I guess I should check where it is. So if we go based on this, it would be about here. Hmm, maybe the oil would help out this key? Yes! Okay, hold on. Hold the fucking phone, folks. Let's open up this toolbox. Couldn't think of any other material that would help that key. We have ourselves a bottle. Of... Detergent. And a screwdriver. And a silver key. The detergent. Can can we, like, wash the star to make it shrink? Because I'm thinking of what else you would wash. But then I have to think about what am I washing it in, and with what. Or could we use the screwdriver on the screws for this and maybe undo it? But they're not textured. This has a button, though. Oh, fuck! Uh, hello, my friend. Does that mean it's on? You can use the detergent to clean up the oil? What? Okay, so I need to find a rag. Mm, nothing really there. Can I take one of these lab coats?
feels like it would get the job done, but they're not going to let me. Unless I can combine it with what I have. Let's keep looking for a cloth. Or better yet, something to use the screwdriver on. Man, it, it looks like that thing in the middle is like something you can grab, but it keeps throwing me off. I like how many dialogue choices they give you for that one, though, at the very least. Hmm, something is missing. Hmm, what's this battery for? Usually used for notebooks. Alright. This is not a disco stage. Fucking disco. Alright, let's look at the guide. I'm wasting time. Uh, give a chevron block, take the name tag, get a blue battery, take the radio, take the rusty key. Looks like I have all the items. Uh, I did the radio section. Combine the, combine the button, press the button on the save, it activates the robot. Take the rusty key into the oil, then go to the toolbox. Take the detergent, screwdriver, and silver key. Combine the three chevron blocks. Use the silver key on a drawer. Alright, I can stop reading. Let's use the silver key on... Ah, I, I wouldn't have seen this. <laughs> I'm just terrible. Just open the damn thing. This should give us our cloth and we can... Okay, does not have cloth. Yeah, okay, it opened up something else. Well, well, well. Well, that sure answers what this is. It wasn't like something you insert and that it activates something. It turns this whole thing into a wheel. Are those underpants? Underpants. Uh. Well, yeah, now we're surrounded completely by, uh. by underpants. What is this? I have a feeling there's a connection here. Supply the correct voltage by connecting the wires. Seems simple enough. Yeah, but I'd also need an answer, though. Yep, we gotta figure that out first. Underpants! Why would a robot be wearing underwear? Maybe he's hiding something. Hiding what, though? Like a diary or something? Why the hell would a, you hide a diary in your crotch? Maybe he's got a hose or something. Whoa, damn, way to cut to the chase. <laughs> Remove these shorts of a fussication and let us gaze upon it. The so-called hose. You're getting a little too excited about this robot dick. 
I haven't done anything yet. He's still decent. Besides, when you covered your face and opened your fingers so you could see out. How old are you? You're driving me nuts. I'll rip off the pants! Boxers! Fine. Now that we have the boxers, bring me to the fucking thing. Uh, this this is hell. Like move, moving around this map is hell. One hundred twenty volts. That's what we need. That is the answer that we seek on this yellow thing. Okay, uh huh. Let's see, 35, 100, no. No, that doesn't work. We need 120. 30, 30, 10. Well, obviously we have to start here, right? We would have to start on the top. So 35, 10, not 60. Because we're at 45 right now. Well, that takes us right to the 30, so. Uh, that's 75. 75. So the whole question here is... Oh, I got it. 75, and then we gotta go to the, uh, the 40. And then the 5. That should make 120. You motherfucker! I misclicked the button! All my work! All my work! Let's do it again. You see, I had a heroic- I was so scared, I'm like, Come on, this is it. This is it. This is it. I'm a chub. I was getting a chub happening what was that red part does that mean I don't have these connected properly there we go hold on I need this on the 30 there we go Hmm, seems like we need a completed circuit. What's the guide say? Uh, another robot's holding a battery. Oh, so, oh, apparently I'm missing that. Uh, look for a monitor that came from the ceiling. Tap it to complete. You have to make a connection from the left to right. The, the pink numbers contribute to the total. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. I mean, I mean, all right. I've fallen for you all over again. What? I just completed a circuit. Power distribution complete. Preview sequence complete. Oh, because we can hit the power button then. Well, this thing said there was a battery on a robot. Oh, you're holding it. Yeah, where's the power thing? I went the... R no, I didn't go the wrong way. I got worried, though. Hit that butt! So, uh... <laughs> yeah, did it work? Uh... Ah, look! Their eyes! Eyes? What do you mean, their eyes? Oh my god. Oh my god. 
Alright, so apparently I need a tablet, and I don't have it yet because I see it in this guide. Tablet. Get the tablet from the bottom drawer. Oh! I apparently didn't do the bottom drawer, so I missed it. Here we go. The last piece of the puzzle. I'm assuming their eyes have to correlate to the final puzzle of this. What, what's the Herald part matter with? There you go. Oh. Well, power's on. Password. Uh, I don't have a password. Alright, what, what do I have in the screenshots here? Oh, I get it. I get it, guys. So... Um, I'm gonna pull it up on screen so people understand, so they can follow along here, but then they'll have to, you know. Here it is. Middle thing obviously means the glowing eye, and they're going by rows. Which effectively means that, depending on which eye is open with a red thing, means that that, that is that letter. So, what I can do is, uh, I'm, I'm gonna assume this one is the top. I'm going to assume these are the top over here. So, this is either RB or OS. So, I'll do that. And I'll try and spell out two words, and whichever word seems appropriate, we'll do. So, this would be RBM or OSF. So it could be the opposite end. Hmm. Well, we'll try and figure it out here. O, S, F. Try my best to decode this. Oh, wait. I can't do it on both sides, because... Actually, I, I would do that, because come down to yeah one of these is gonna make sense all right the next one is blank which means the last two would be that and that left and right so O and I O I and this one would be this one would be Oh, E. Vispa or E on the rub. That doesn't make a word at all. Hmm. Let me look at the guy and see what it says. Look at the robot's eye. Look at which robot's eyes are dark. Compare this with the eye poster. And, okay. And then do. Alright, well, let's look at the other side, see what I can get glean out of that. Alright, if I look at this, it's, um... That's... That's gonna be B. Moving on over to U. It could be EA. But what would... Then that, then that one over there, the second one would be C. The next one would be O. And then the one next to it would be N. Beacon. Okay, so they're spelling beacon. So this one up here is the top one. And it's spelled beacon from this side. So this is the first letter right here. So beacon. So then starting from here. But would I start here? I would, which means this is placed first. So it would be O, F, beacon of hope. I'm just going to guess it's beacon of hope. 
because that is a sentence that you would say to yourself at points. Is there enough space for spaces? No, there is not. <laughs> Boom! This is like Calm Master Video Games. You have the login. Uh, secret file. I get it. So, so the ones that are not glowing for the secret file give you, uh, give you one. Which, I'm gonna go ahead and just cheat and see what that one is. It is Reminisce. Reminisce. Alright. That's all I need to know. We'll, uh, just go ahead and grab this. And also, I need to look at this, because, like, reminisce is a kind of a hard word. It's kinda. I think, I think people can, I think people can get with me on this. Like, maybe this word here, it's like, rem remini sense? And you think reminisce, and it's like, eh, maybe. Unless I'm saying the word wrong. And if that case, uh, sorry. Good work. What is the prize? Star Sun Sun. We got ourselves an out, boys. What does my screenshot say for the escape? Uh, two moons. And a star. Ah, that's another puzzle done, folks. What do we have in here? Okay, this is gonna be important because this was emptied out in K's ending. What do you get from... What do you get in this? Ah, the map. I don't give a fuck. I've seen this map way too much. Moon cards. Yeah, gotcha. You're solo. Take this card, you bitch. A note. Okay, the no voting is not, a, not an option thing. Yeah, but what is the thing on the right? Oh! It's K's key. So K was the one they got in here. Then the way he said that this what he implied that this is where he lived, like this facility was like this was his facility. Because he's like this is here. Uh, ignoring what his face looks like then it would make sense. Maybe he has some way to access some of these rooms. I don't know. Regardless, that's the key for him. And this is the key out of here. Crack it open. You found it. Now, Top Governor. What? That was a bad voice. That's like something I would no. do. Oh my god, if it's that fucking robot. You honestly think a voice that coarse could come from a throat as fine as this? Oh yeah, that was, uh, that was me, mate. Oi, over here. Sigma, look. What is that? Pop! Oh, blimey, that hurts. I ain't right for a fellow's back to feel like this. It's a robot. And it's talking with an accent. Uh, can't help it, Flower. Didn't choose to talk like this. Not by half. Now, Alice, darling, do I rightly recollect you characterizing my speech as coarse? Well, that's right, cruel it is. You really think I asked for this? Okay, Oliver Twist, what's going See, on? They figured they'd give us all a, uh, uh, what you call them, uh, 
personality. <laughs> Some tosser thought they'd give me this one. It ain't right, I tell you. This is something. <laughs> so what the hell are you? <laughs> Cooper? If you're a barrel maker, I'm an astronaut. <laughs> right you are, my old son. Right you are. Well, go on. Have a butchies, mate. What do I look like to you? Robot, you say? Well, nearly there, but they call us golems round here. Golem? Oh, I've heard of golems. They're sort of monsters, I guess, from Jewish folklore. They're made from clay, and they look like men. They're supposed to do whatever their master, or creator, or whatever commands them to do. Well, aren't you a clever bird? You are, of course, correct. The golem of myth is a clay creation that moves under its own power. Our spellings are my thing, you know. The original blokes are spelled G-O-L-E-M, but me and me mates are G-A-U-L-E-M. That's an acronym for General Purpose Autonomous Labor Electronic Machine. All right. Truth to tell, it's a bit rubbish when you write it out all like that, but I figured they wanted to make sure they had the Gollum thing in there, you know, what with us being robots and all. So... Should I just call you Gollum? Uh, that don't seem quite kosher. After all, all of me mates here are Gollums too. I couldn't very well call all of you lot human, could I? What should we call you then? Well, we've all got a product ID, and they're unique. I figure that's as good a name as any. And your ID is? GTM-CM-G-OLM. That's way too long. We can't remember that. <laughs> yeah! You taking the mickey out of me? What does that mean? Never had a problem yourself. Right then, let's just use the last bit, shall we? G O L M? Golem. Come on, man, this is Golem. Well, I'll be buggered. <laughs> Can't say I ever noticed that before. Sure, it's a strange coincidence, isn't it? Oh. All right, Gollum. You, <laughs> you said Alice, darling, a bit ago. A gentleman can't say something nice to a pretty young bird, eh? Now, I don't care if you call her darling. What I'm saying is you called her by her name. How do you know that? <laughs> oh, she ain't the only one of you lot whose name I know. I know who you are, Sigma, and you too, Luna. <laughs> I'm right familiar with all nine of you. How? You don't know? Why well, they got cameras all over this place. Well, then again, the lenses aren't much bigger than a screw, and they're all in the way. So I suppose I can't really blame you for missing them, huh? Now, as I was saying, there were these cameras, you see, and all of the data they record gets sent off to the mainframe in real time. So. I just gave the main core a ring, got those videos, and now I know everything you've done. Oh. Then. Does that mean you're Zero Junior? Cool, blimey. Are you bleeding serious? You gotta be off your box if you think I'm Young Master <laughs> Zero. The Young Master is a right proper AI what supervises all the electronic bits and bobs in this place. My humble self and knows with the misfortune to be like me, are more akin to computer terminals who are merely borrowing a little bit of the central core. So, golems are kind of like Zero Junior servants. Um, no, not quite, Governor, not quite. I'd say me and me mates here are more like uh, arms and legs, right? Now, you lot don't have brains in your arms and legs, do you? Of course not. Right you are, missus. It'd be all sorts of nasty if your elbows and that lumpy bit on your ankle was all packed with brains. <laughs> lumpy bit! Well, we're like your arms or legs. Okay. The Gollum seat of consciousness, so to speak, ain't in the head. The fact that the matter is, it's not anywhere in the body. Which makes a fellow wonder, where is it? In the mainframe? Spot on. 
So that part of me what thinks is in the mainframe. Everything this here body sees and hears and what have you, that all gets sent back there. Then the mainframe does some sort of computery jiggery pokery and comes up with some decisions and, and those decisions beget commands. Now those commands are sent over the wireless like boop 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 <laughs> and eventually my body picks them up. Finally, those commands cause actions what move the various bits in my body. That's why this thing's like a computer terminal, you see. The body's just an output device of sorts. If we were talking about one of them personal computers here, you could say a golem's kind of like a, uh, a monitor, right? Eh? Huh? Oh, wait a minute. Then wouldn't that make you part of Zero Junior? Oh, I suppose you could say that. What with us sharing the mainframe and all. <laughs> but I don't know shit all about this game he's running. That part of the mainframe's locked away from the rest of us. I'm an independent core. Zero and I are two different blokes. You recollect what Gollum stands for, huh? I'm autonomous. But if that's the case, your hands and feet analogy doesn't really make sense. My arms and legs aren't autonomous. They'll just move on their own. <laughs> you sure, Governor? I watched you cross your arms just now. Huh? And now you're, you're frowning and your forehead's getting all wrinkly. Do you do these things on purpose? Well, when you crossed your arms, were you thinking... Right then, let's cross them, shall we? <laughs> Curl on down then, mouth. Oh, and eyebrows. I'd be much obliged if you'd squeeze in a bit. There's a good pair of blokes. I fucking hate this guy. <laughs> That's Never he mind, thinking, he's great. No? <laughs> Didn't reckon so. I figured you did all of that subconsciously. Ain't no man on earth who says to himself, Feeling a mite nervous, I'll just twitch me leg around a bit, you know? Who's thinking real hard about something and says to themselves, Well, I think I'll just give the old loaf a scratch, that ought to help. How's about when you reach for your tea? When you turn a page in your book? Or what about when your eyes just go straight for the pair on that bird you fancy? <laughs> yeah, the list goes on, me chums. But all of those things are your subconscious at work. Now, true, when part of your body does something, it's because your brain said so. But that don't mean your conscious mind is involved. <laughs> Fact is, it can't be. If your brain had to deal with all the piddly bits of living, it'd make you balmy. That's how us golems and a young master get along. You, um, you got it all sorted now, chums? Then you're saying that Zero Junior is the central part of the mainframe, and the golems are like his hands and feet? Righto! Ugh, blimey. Well, guess I shouldn't be talking about such heavy rubbish, eh? My shoulders are all stiff. You're a robot. How can your shoulders get stiff? And you said your back hurt earlier. Are you just messing with us? Yes, I did. And no, I ain't. Me back is a right mess, it is. Last maintenance check, they just left me here. I've been on this bed here for years. <sighs> the lubricant for me joints is all gummed up. Every time I move, it hurts. But why did you wake up again after all this time? Why do you think, love? Because you lot turned me on is why. Especially that other missus over there. Oh yeah, that button on the safe. Right you are, Gabna. Can you come with us then? The others need to see this. <laughs> no, I can't. And more's a pity. I can only go as far as this cable here will let me. I got internal batteries, but they're knackered. A matter of fact, that's why I was here for maintenance in the first place. The yeah, same goes for these other blokes too. Of course, they ain't connected to a power cable like I am, so they aren't going anywhere anytime soon. <laughs> I see. So, you aren't gonna answer my question. Huh? What question is that? I asked you how your shoulders can get stiff if you're a robot. Right, right, so you did. Not sure why you've got to bug up your arse about that particular issue, though. Know? Well, I mean, I guess it's not really important, but, uh, just curious. Curious, are you? Well, that's a good word, that is. A good, powerful word. Kind of word that will set any robot's heart to flutter. Let's get you sorted then, shall we? Just lend me your lords of peers for a tick. So, how can a robot get stiff shoulders? And what does pain mean to a robot? Tell me, Governor, you ever heard of the Chinese room? Um. 
It's a room in China. Somewhere, a pretty young girl's trapped in a tiny room. The door of the room has a slot that a number of Chinese people outside the room can use to slide slips of paper to the girl. On the pieces of paper are questions written naturally in Chinese. Unfortunately, the young lady has no idea what they say. But then, how could she? She's never learned Chinese. Apart from a Hong Kong action movie or two in college, she's never heard of it. So, for this unfortunate young lady, each note looks like nothing more than a bunch of strange symbols. Before she was locked away, she was given an order. Specifically, she was told to write an appropriate response to each question and slip that answer back. Once the Chinese questions begin to show up, however, she finds herself at a loss. Oh dear, she says, why can't I read these at all? Whatever am I to do? At that moment, she spots a bookshelf. The bookshelf, filled with thick books upon examining them, discovers that they are some sort of Chinese phrase books. They have no explanation of what anything means, but show Chinese responses to Chinese questions. Am I supposed to use these? The questions, they keep coming up. I'm turning off the light because it's hot. <laughs> there we go. More and more and more of them. She finds the set of characters that correspond to the set of characters on the paper, carefully writes down the indicated response. How's it going? It's awful. Please get me out of here. Are you hungry? Yes, I am. I haven't eaten anything since breakfast. Here, they give her some twice-cooked pork. Are you full? Yes, although I don't think my stomach liked it very much. Do you have a boyfriend? Yes, I'm dating a reggae dancer. What? When was your first kiss? When I was 14, he was a grade ahead of me. What color of underwear are you wearing? Black. What's the first thing you're going to do when you get out of this room? Beat the stuffing out of whoever's sending me these questions with the pan you cooked that twice cooked pork in. All of these questions were written in Chinese, and the answers were also written in Chinese. All the young lady did was accurately copy the symbols from the phrase books onto slips of paper with no idea what any of it meant. Isn't incidentally, she doesn't have a dancer boyfriend. In fact, she's never even kissed a boy. Also, she's wearing white underwear. Anyway. Um. Yes? Is there any particular reason this girl is, um, pretty? Or, or why we need to know what color underwear she's wearing? Can't say there is. This tickles me fancy, I guess. But the prettier the bird is, the more fun the story is, isn't it? <laughs> what? I mean, he's right. What? Right. Well, what I wanted to say was this. All them Chinese blokes outside the room didn't know nothing about them books what she had. So it follows that they would have thought whoever was inside spoke Chinese just like them. You see? After all, far as they can tell, they're having a nice little chin way with one of their countrymen. Uh, okay. Interesting. Um, what does this have to do with your shoulders? Or any robot feeling any pain at all? You thick. I feel pain when my body's having a spot of bother. Well, hold up, mate. This ain't right. We keep this up and we bug it. If things go really pear-shaped, we'll be brown bread. I have no idea what the fuck he just said. So says the central computer to itself, seeing that things are a bit bollocksed. In the interest of extricating my body from his unpleasant predicament, the mainframe sends out a signal over the wireless. And my software interprets that signal as pain, and I stop doing whatever daft thing I was doing. It's the same, isn't it? Just like the Chinese room. So you're saying the robots feel pain differently than humans, right? Use your loaf, Missy. You listen to a word I've said. A human feels pain when you do something you shouldn't, like sit your bum down on a tap, right? Same thing for us robots. If you feel like being clever about it, there ain't really that much different between a human and a robot. Forget all about that mainframe and signal box. And us golems ain't that different from the bird in the room. So think about it. How do you know humans ain't the same just without all the electronic pony, huh? What if when someone asks you a question, all you're doing is pulling out the right answer from some sort of phrase book in your brain? <laughs> ain't no way to prove that, of course, but far as I can see, there ain't no reason to. I mean, it's all the same, isn't it? If you're actually a thinking creature, or if you're just some kind of language processing machine. All what matters is if the person next to you does what a human ought. 
looks like a person, acts like a person, and talks like a person, then it's probably a person. You want to live a normal life? That's all you need to know. Uh, can I ask you something? Lay it on me, Governor. Why'd you stop us? Ha! <laughs> right you are, mate. Right you are. I got so carried away on you, forgot. I haven't seen anyone for yonks, and I got a mighty excited as all. Ugh, just spit it out. Right, right. Well, uh, there was something I wanted to tell you lot. What was it? Patience, darling. Now, I know I might look a bit out of sorts at the moment, but I ain't really supposed to. Same thing for the rest of the blokes here. Fact is, the reason we look a bit like skeletons is because we are a bit like skeletons. It is this special artificial biological tissue what's called ABT. When a golem's all new and shiny, they've got a nice suit of ABT over that metal skeleton. Makes us look right human, it does. Even feels like real skin, with pores, a little bit of hair, and a few pimples, scars and the like. Truth to tell, I doubt you'd be able to tell the real from the fake, even if it was right in front of you. See, right in the middle of... Command violation. Rogue processes detected. Product ID. G oh no, it's gold! Executing emergency deactivation. No, don't kill my friend! No! Unit G T M. No other rogue processes detected in returning to surveillance mode. Gollum. It looks like it. Gollum. Gollum. I wonder what he was trying to tell us. See, right in the middle of. An ambidex gate, 45 Oh, great. Someone on the other team must have- Time to get back. <laughs> well, back to warehouse A. And back to another conversation of why Dio pressed the button again. Hey, all right, we're gonna end the video here, I guess. Next time, we have a choice to make, folks. We have to talk with these people, and then present a choice. One that leads to an ending, and one that may lead to a good ending, or something else, or give us some information that we we might need. So that does set up the situation of, are we a golem? It's seeming to look like that. We bleed cum. We, uh... We, we happen to, uh, look like K. K looks like us. There are some possibilities that are present. None of our locks have opened yet, so we don't have all the information we need, but... We, uh... We're just gonna have to figure this thing out. And we'll get closer to that, potentially, next time. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you in the next video.